Hey, it's Lakai Leaning Ministries, private and personal chef services, and we're praying with you, delivering kingdom business, what to the what, 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 period, in Christ Jesus' name. How are you loving being victorious with Christ Jesus as we roam through Romans 8 so we can be great? We realize that there's no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus, and sin no longer controls the agenda of our lives, and we must continually point our lives towards the glory and will of God and remember we can never do it alone because he has to do the work within us that we can never do alone amen for th with that being said we want to thank you again for watching our videos we want to thank you again for coming on the lives we want to thank you again for participating in this year's being victorious with Christ Jesus we couldn't done it without you we're grateful for you we're honored for you we're honored of you and we pray that God continues to bless you in the way that only he can bless you. Oh my gosh, I can't believe year three has con is continuing where we've been doing one through 17 for the past two, three weeks. And now we're entering into, we will be headed towards glory, glory. So as we tap into that next segment, which is 18 to I don't know how much it is, but it's from verse 18 all the way down to maybe the 30s. But in the meantime, we're going to keep reading this word in our lives. We're going to keep allowing God to do in us what we can never do alone. Allowing his word to penetrate bone marrow and go into the spirit where it belongs so the word of God can grow within us. And at the end of every video, we have acceptance of jesus christ so if you want to accept jesus christ as your lord and personal savior not only do we have you accepted but we ask you to find a bible-based church so that bible-based church can lead you and guide you in all things christ and when they lead you and guide you into all things christ then you step up to the next plate and that's water baptism what you baptize in the father the son and the holy spirit and for that trinity would lead you into everything that you need to be for such a time as this amen trust me when you follow the holy spirit the father the son the holy spirit they will lead you into life in peace and not spiritual death as we continue to learn this in romans 8 to be great La Kailini Ministries, private and personal chef services that we're praying with you. Delivering kingdom business, what to the what, what, what to the what, 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 period, in Christ Jesus' name. Romans 8, verse 21. And it reads, that creation would be made free from ruin, that everything God made would have the same freedom and glory that belongs to God's children. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive our debts as we forgive our debtors, it is not into temptation. But deliver us from evil, for thy is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive our debts as we forgive our debtors, it is not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For that is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Heavenly Father, we come before you because, um, Father God, the, the promise that you made is that creation would be made free from ruin. The things that would ruin our life, the things that would destroy our life, Father God, you had made us free from it in the name of Jesus so that we could be set apart for you for such a time as this. So that creation would be made free from when that everything God made would have the same freedom and glory that belongs to God's children. Father God, thank you that everything you made would have the same freedom and glory that belongs to God's children because of what Christ did from the beginning Father God we can't make a move without acknowledging what Christ did for us in order for us to be made free from ruin so that God so that everything God made would have the same freedom and glory that belongs to God's church. So Father God, thank you for this freedom and glory that you continue to point us to. Thank you for the freedom and glory that continues to lead us to Christ Jesus. Thank you for the freedom and glory that continues to put us in right standing with you for such a time as this. Father God, this freedom and glory don't come at a cheap price, but it come at a high price because Christ paid a price for us to live our best supernatural life. And Father God, you have granted that. So that creation, this is one of the promises that you made, that creation would be free from ruin, that everything God made would have the same freedom and glory that God belongs to God's children. Father God, thank you that we're a part of your your 
your family. Thank you that we're a part of your kingdom. Thank you that we were a part of the plans of your kingdom in order for your kingdom to manifest here on earth. Father God, we don't take these moments lightly, but we take these moments knowing that you will continue to come through for those who love those who you love. Father God, thank you that Thank you that the enemy no longer has a hold of our life to ruin our life, to destruct our life, to bring chaos and destruction. But you have given us light and that light has told destruction to stay at base so that God could fulfill his purpose within his people, Father God. Because it says it here, right here, your word, that creation would be made free from ruin, that everything God made would have the same freedom and glory that belongs to God's children. Thank you for the great freedom freedom and glory that belongs to God's children. Thank you for the freedom and glory that belongs in being victorious with Christ Jesus. Thank you for the freedom that God made so that we have the same freedom and glory that belongs to God's children. Father God, we don't deserve it, but Father God, you continue to make a way out of no way so that we could be the best versions of ourselves for such a time as this. Father God, that creation would be made free from ruin that everything God made would have the same freedom and glory that belongs to God's children father God we know and we know we know we can't do this road without you so father God as you lead us and guide us please continue to give us the strength to fight another day give us the strength to fight our thoughts another day give us the strength to continue to be what we need to be for such a time as this knowing that you will come through knowing that you are the king of kings the lord of lords and there was no one like you father God thank you that we get to put I could press gas into your word and your word reveal itself to us so it could continue to manifest in what and do what it's supposed to do since the beginning of time. Father God, we know that we can't do this without you. So, Father God, give us the strength as we continue to live life in the spirit, as we come to, as we come to acknowledge that there is glory in the future. Thank you for this glory that's in the future. Thank you for this glory that continues to manifest in us through your son, Father God. Thank you that this glory continues to give us strength to fight another day. Thank you that this glory continues to make us rise up and be the best versions of ourselves for such a time as this. Thank you, Father God, that your glory will continue to come. Even if we like it or not, your glory will come through your children in the name of Jesus, Father God, that the creation he made would be free from ruin, that everything God made would have the same freedom and glory that belongs to God's children. Thank you for this freedom and glory that belongs to God's children. Because Father God, like I said again, we do not deserve it, but you continue to make way out of no way. Thank you for continuing to make a way out of no way as we continue to stand strong and keep being victorious in the name of Christ Jesus. Father God, we don't call on no other deity but the deity of Christ Jesus that we reverence, that we serve, that we know that when he come through, he will come through and work everything out for our good. And he don't only come by himself, but he come packing with the Father and the Holy Spirit. So Father, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Trinity, have your way within our lives, within our marriages, within our businesses, within everything we do. So that we would so that we our businesses would be made free from ruin that if so that everything that God God made for our business would have the same freedom and glory that belongs to God's God's children so that so that our souls would be made free from ruin so that everything God would make God made would have the same freedom and glory that belongs to God's children so that the depression would be free from ruin that so that everything God made would have the same freedom and glory that belongs to God's children. So that anxiety, so that the anxiety would be made free from ruin. So that God, so that everything God made would have the same freedom and glory that belongs to God's children. Thank you for giving. You watched it. Thank you for giving us the ability to be here with you, Father God, as we continue to remain here, knowing that you that we are sinners in need of your grace and mercy, knowing that we are sinners in need of your joy, your love, your peace, your understanding, and every fruit of the spirit that comes from within your kingdom. Father God, as we wear the full armor, we know that we're in position to receive from you. As we wear the full armor, no, we know we're in position 
to give back to you all the cares of our hearts so that you could continue to give us the strength to be what we need to be for such a time as this. Thank you for your revelation. Thank you that you continue to work within this ministry. Thank you that you continue to work within our homes. Thank you that you continue to work within our businesses. Thank you that you continue to give us the light that we need in order for us to be what we need to be for such a time as this. Father God, you don't come here and ruin our lives, but you have come back to restore our lives and take back what the enemy has stole from you. And that's your children, Father God. Your children need you more than ever now than ever so that we can continue to manifest your will here on earth in Jesus mighty name rekete ko sho so yo to ko rapa pa ka rekete ke sho so yo to ko reke ka rapa pa 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 ka ka da ka rekete ke rekete sho so yo to ko rekete ke ya rapa pa pa rapa pa 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 ka sha sa ya na ka rekete ke sho so yo to ko father god you switch things up in being victorious this year father god only because you know why you know why you wanted us to be here meet you here for a month praying at your feet seeking your face as we continue to get clarity for our vision clarity for our motives clarity for our purity clarity of your kingdom clarity of the father the son and the holy spirit that's working everything out for the good of those who love them father god thank you that we get to love on you father god not everybody wants to love on you not everybody wants to follow you but father god that's for me and my house we serve the lord we love on the lord we're grateful for the lord we're grateful for everything that the lord has done for us for such a time as this we don't deserve it but father God, Father God, Father God, you continually do it for us each and every single day, knowing that we are sinners and needing of your grace and mercy, knowing that we are sinners and needing you day by day, knowing that we are sinners, that the creation would be made free from ruin, that everything God made would have the same freedom and glory that belongs to God's children. Thank you for the freedom and glory that belongs to your children, Father God. Thank you for the freedom and glory that belongs to your children's children, our children's children's children, our children's children. Thank you for the freedom. Hey, glory that belongs to our school, our workplaces, our ministries, our businesses, and everything that we have to do for such a time as this. Father God, you don't call us to live lazy, you don't call us to procrastinate, you don't call us to live greedy, but you have called us to do things right on time for you, to do things knowing that you will continue to provide, to do things knowing that we need the love that surpasses all understanding, the peace that surpasses all understanding, the joy that surpasses all understanding in order for us to maintain what we need to maintain here on earth for you for such a time as this. Father God, the creation that creates the creation would be made free from ruin that everything god made would be the same would have the same freedom and glory that belongs to god's children thank you that we belong to you in jesus mighty name we seal this prayer with the blood of jesus in jesus name we pray amen victorious with christ jesus being victorious with Christ Jesus. It is in Christ Jesus that we are victorious. Romans 8, so we can be healed.